Hi guys, it's Miss Cat again, and we are going to be doing chest plates, West African style chest plates. So you're going to get this chest plate that's going to go on your chest. And so you will be given a sheet. You'll be given a sheet of and decor symbols, kente cloth paper, beads and bells, and raffia. You already have crayons or markers or color pencils, glue, and scissors at home. So you're gonna use these um, things to make your chest plate. So what you're gonna first that I'll do is take your paper of a dinker symbols and find ones that connect with you. So I have chosen these three. I've chose the one that represents creativity, power of love, and unity in diversity. And so you can decorate your chest plate however you want, but I'm going to start off with just these three. And I'm going to glue them on my chest plate. And then I'm going to take my kente cloth and start using that to decorate. And I'm using my kente cloth to design a pattern because I really like patterns. Um, you can have it go just straight down, across, however you choose. So then each one of your shields come with these two strings. You're going to use these two strings to add your beads to. So for this first string, I'm going to
add some beads and then I'm gonna use the bells at the end to tie the string. And now I have my string and my bell. And then to make it a little more jazzy, you're going to take some raffia and you have these two additional holes. You're gonna add your raffia in there to jazz it up, make it fancy. So you can tie on your raffia any type of way that you like. This is the way that I like to tie it. So there you go, you have your very own West African chest plate. If you want to make your raffia even, you're welcome to do that. You wanna keep them long, you're welcome to do that. But this is your very own African chest plate, enjoy.